Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coulomb video. I'm currently reviewing the 2020 Chevrolet Bolt EV. I've already done a number of tests so far, so I've done sort of the long range test in terms of time to travel 621.4 miles or a thousand kilometers. I've already uh, mapped out the charging curve, done a, a few different tests with DC fast chargers. But in those tests, one of the things that I noticed is uh, the efficiency on this car does seem to be a bit lower than my 2017 Chevy Bolt EV outside of the, the fixed roof rails right in terms of aerodynamics there really shouldn't be any difference uh, and so I, I want to do an additional test and I'll probably make this sort of a, a regular routine test that I do uh, but this is a low load test and the reason I want to do that is I kind of want to see if the disparity and efficiency is with some sort of uh, uh, something to do with like a low load, maybe it's a uh, power draw, uh, some sort of parasitic loss, some sort of like rolling resistance, right? So this low load route will let me assess that. Uh, and it's only about 25 miles, right? 24.7 miles. And this is just my most basic commute. And in my 2017 uh, Chevy Bolt EV, the average efficiency is right around 6.9 to 7 uh, miles per kilowatt hour. So it's a highly efficient route, but it lets me sort of I isolate what the uh, maybe the key culprits are, are in terms of the differences in efficiency. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up charging up here uh, and uh, just head out. And part of this assessment will be a bit subjective because it's based on uh, what I see along the route in terms of traffic, in terms of traffic flow, things like that, because all of that uh, will also affect the efficiency a little bit, but it should be around 6.9 miles per kilowatt hour plus or minus about 0.4 kilowatt hours. So uh, let's get on the road and let's check it out. Well, I have to admit that was a, a bit unexpected, uh, a bit surprising, and 8.1 mile per kilowatt hour efficiency, even on the low load route. Um, you know, it actually might have been 8.2 miles per kilowatt hour, um, except I had to drive a little around a little bit more just to find a parking space. But uh, normally it's 24.7 miles, so 24.9 miles is, yeah, that's just a little bit extra. But either way, the efficiency was really, really good. You know, uh, 3.1 uh, kilowatt hours used to go 24.9 miles. Now, one thing I will say, though, is, and this is a subjective part, that's about the most efficient I've ever seen that route between the traffic, the temperatures, the lack of wind, all of that. Um, you know, we were cruising basically around 35 to 45 miles an hour, essentially the whole time. Uh, and so even on normal efficient days, right, it's, it's usually about 7.5 miles per kilowatt hour uh, in my 2017 uh, Chevy Bolt EV. So, yeah, it's going to be hard to sort of glean information just based on how ideal uh, this route was for efficiency. But that being said, uh, I will say that in certain sections, I could tell that this was still less efficient than the 2017 Bolt TV, my 2017 Bolt TV, but not by that much. So. I really do think that the differences, right, in terms of efficiency, in especially what I saw on sort of my high-speed, uh, fast 621.4 mile run is, uh, I think other factors uh, were coming into play. And part of that could be, you know, just additional weight, like on the rims and tires going 
up elevation because my car has the Chevy Cruze Eco rims that are significantly lighter, about five pounds lighter uh, per corner. So there could be elements of that, but then I also do think that the roof rails played a factor, but also the temperature when I did that thousand uh, kilometer, 621.4 mile run, temperatures were fairly low and these tires, uh, I haven't touched them in terms of inflation or anything like that. I'm just testing this car as I got it from GM and to me, the tires are underinflated a little bit, but we're back down at sea level. It's 60 to 70 degrees, and I think that's where they were inflated up to that 38 PSI cold pressure, cold sidewall pressure. Uh, so when I got up to where it was 40 degrees, right, uh, that's just not enough air pressure in the tires to, to keep it even at 38. I believe at one point in time on that trip up to uh, Utah and back, the pressure had dropped down to 35 PSI, and I do notice uh, efficiency uh, fluctuating uh, once the um, tire pressure drops below that 38 uh, PSI threshold, I personally think just my recommendation, uh, 40 PSI is the best balance between ride quality and efficiency. That's what I run my tires at. I think the difference I'm seeing in efficiency is a lot of little factors sort of all lumped together uh, that added up to maybe a three to 4% difference between what I typically see uh, in my Bolt EV versus this car. But like I said, based on this assessment, uh, it's not the low load draw. And who knows, the improved impedance uh, for the battery on the 2020 uh, Bolt EV could also be playing a factor in this, where it is at this much, much lower load, uh, there could be a lot less internal resistance inside the battery, uh, which would lead to lower losses when you're driving. Uh, so, I mean, overall, I'm impressed. And I mean, this is on the upper end of what you could expect for you know, reasonable uh, real world driving in terms of efficiency. There are gonna be a lot of people with 2020 Bolt EVs who are averaging close to 350 miles per charge, uh, but they're probably going to be driving in very similar efficient conditions to this. Uh, maybe not quite this efficient, but very close. So like I said though, overall, I I'm impressed. This is this was a good run um, and good showing for the 2020 Chevy Bolt EV. So. You know, it's just a data point. Take it for what it is. But I hope it was helpful. I hope it was informative. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really does help out the channel. And uh, thank you for watching.